This is a Jewel Thief circuit that I made. It's uh, basically a regular uh, Jewel Thief, only the battery is not connected until you press this button here. And what happens then is uh, there's four supercapacitors, one, two, three, and four, and they're charged up when this button is pressed. The switch here is in between the supercapacitors and these four LEDs. And once they're charged up, turning the switch on allows the LEDs to work. Turning it off cuts their power. This is a, an LED I have soldered to two batteries. I've had it since October, so it's been roughly uh, four to five months. And it's, it's still going pretty strong, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and stick one of these batteries inside of the Jewel Thief here. Basically, when I press this button here, it starts the Jewel Thief up, which is a boost converter here, and it lights these four LEDs uh, off of half the power that this one LED is, this dim LED is uh, being supplied. So you can see what it's doing here. I'm going to go ahead and let this charge for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to remove the battery. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the battery now. Now, the light you see is coming from the supercapacitors. And obviously it's still brighter than this LED right here. And it was only working off of half the voltage, which was uh, probably around 0.8 volts. And this will actually continue to light for about 30 minutes. I have four 0.22 farad supercapacitors hooked up to this, so it's roughly an entire farad. And that's running these LEDs right here. So that's kind of neat.